2023, here we go yet again. Stomping on you bitches like your motherfucking friend. Sound kinda crazy, it's the closest in the end. Keep something tough, 380 in the wind. Square the bitch once, 20 rounds, get the M. Stand real humble, ain't give me what I want. Gotta pop my shit to take what I'm owed. What's going on? Hey, yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's good, you guys? It's your girl Ish back with another video. Y'all tuning in to ITTBT. V. It is currently one o'clock noon time, and I went to Kroger's and got me some guac. Oh, it's currently noon time, and I went to Kroger's and got me some guac. Guac from Kroger's. Um. But yeah, I got some uh, guacamole from Kroger's. And, you know, I've been on my uh, non-dairy vibes for a little while. Well, um, I can't even say non-dairy because I have had cheese. But I haven't really had milk, right? So I've been staying away from ice cream. Right? So, it's kind of like... Uh, like a little lunchtime, little picnic in the park right now. Um, so I'm gonna try this oat, oatly fudge brownie. Um, the reason I don't eat ice cream no more is more or less not just because I'm transitioning to more vegan, more fruit, trying to do more fruit. <laughs> Um, lifestyle but also because I'm lactose intolerant so and it is not as bad as some people but um, yeah I don't know you're not about to have my stomach bubblicious out here so this is Oatly it's vegan wow no cow that's what they say it has oat milk Water oats, fudge swirl, uh, as low iric acid rapeseed oil. I don't know, mm -mm. but anyway, y'all y'all can buy it and look at the ingredients if y'all want to. Right now, I'm just going to give this a try. I've tried vegan ice creams before. I've tried protein ice creams before as well. And that shit is disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, this only has... Per serving, it has 2 grams of protein. Uh, 22 grams of sugar. 33 carbs. Uh, 1 fiber. 1 gram of fiber. Uh, and those 22 grams of carbs are all added sugar. Okay. All right. Let me get a napkin real quick because it got chopped. And you know what I'm talking about? I got that fudge brownie because I am a chocolate, 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 chocolate person. If I have the option to get it and it's in chocolate, Give me chocolate, please and thank you. So we're gonna give this a try. If it's nasty, I'ma throw it out. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, and this shit not cheap. And he would bring a goddamn lawnmower over. Here. The grass ain't even. The grass don't even need to be cut over here. But here we go. I 
I, I swear I think they need, well, maybe it do need to be cut. I need to pull up, because I know my tail end is probably in the grass. Hold up, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. This actually good. This actually good. This actually good. ingredients is a whole nother question wow this is actually freaking good it's out of New York Wow. Now the question is, am I going to sit up here and eat this whole thing? <laughs> if I do, that's 102 grams of carbs, 68 grams of sugar, Jesus, and 7 grams of protein. Four grams of dietary fiber. <laughs> As I set up and ate this whole little pint. This pint. Would that be would that be considered fat? Uh, I might have to do it. I might have to do it. Oh, this is good. Oh my God, this is good. Oh my God, yo. What kind of... Why my nose running? Take a damn mama, like, bruh. As soon as I. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just good. Alright, right, that's it for this part. 
portion of the video. I don't know what else I'm going to say or get into. Um, at this, I am probably am going to eat this because I don't have a refrigerator with me in this truck or like I would have to go buy a cooler and some ice or something like that and I know that still probably wouldn't be enough to keep this frozen um, but this is really good and then I got my um, guac and chips so I know it's a weird ass combination to fucking sit here and eat but um, that's what I'm about to do and then after that I'll probably go and do something else. I don't know. Not 100% sure yet. I know I still got a lot of content that I need to piece together, but I actually want, I'm trying, I want my content to be put together a little bit better than what I, because like, as of late, I just slap that shit together. Add a few transitions here and there, but I actually want to get more into like actually doing like storytelling with uh my videos because i did that in one of the videos and it flowed nicely for me and um uh, it took it took me an entire like i was doing stuff in between but it took me an entire day to complete the edit and then uh it took me a little minute to upload it because I was it was uh the day I uploaded it was like a day a busy day for me so I have like days where I'm busy and then I have down days like I like tomorrow is gonna be a down day for me uh, today is kind of busy but not busy um, like my mid section of my day were a lot of happenings take place is busy so like right now I got downtime but I gotta go back to the gym uh, to meet with clients and then I'm gonna work out and then typically by that time I'm done with the day and it's like go home uh, you know so let me tell y'all yesterday was a busy day yesterday was a busy day it was like one it's supposed to be like one of my down days but i ended up linking up with a client we went to the zoo and stuff like that we did like 10 000, like now almost ten thousand steps at the zoo but we had to walk uh we just walked around the uh the parking lot area in a nearby park because it didn't open we got there early and we didn't know that it opened at 10. We got there around like 9 15, 9 20, 9 20, because we had 40 minutes to blow. So we walking and talking for 40 minutes. And then on top of that, we walked through the, uh, the zoo. And the zoo loop is pretty big and it go you go up and down hills so um that that took up a chunk of my day and then i mean i was just busy i was outside yesterday like how i'm trying to be like right now uh, not outside outside i ain't at nobody's bar no party no alcohol no you know even though it would be dope to be at a place where like a cafe that's outside with you know electricity and Wi-Fi. Um, and shit. It had like good food, and you can sit and you can and I can get some work done. That would be a dope ass spot to go to. Like in their cat, there are cafes. Don't get me wrong. I've been to several cafes, but. I don't really like the outdoor space isn't like my vibe and then the food there's like some of the cafes that I go to I don't like their food and it's not that I don't like their food they don't have a lot of options 
in regards to food and I'm talking like I'm yelling talking hella loud but they options they food options are not what I'm looking for like a guacamole and stuff like that and then the one spot that I did go to a spot here that I did go to I said I'm not gonna go back to because the vibe like wasn't there like I ordered my food they never called my name and they left my shit sitting on the counter open was it yeah oh was it open no this is two different places so two different place two different cafes so one I had ordered like uh, muffins and they left them out on the counter because I had to use the bathroom real quick dude never called my name or nothing and you could at least cover them up and then another spot the vibe was off and they left my uh smoothie out and like i don't know how long it had been out but that shit was watery as fuck and like the vibe was like they ain't really like black people no way Um, that's just the vibe, the energy I got, and it wasn't necessarily the workers, it was the customers that gave off that vibe. Like, what are they doing in here? I've never seen them in here before. What? And, like, when I sat down, they got up and left. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna go far. I was not expecting this. And it don't taste like ice cream, but it got that creamy, creamy taste to it. Like, I know ice cream, you got, like, ice cream got that dairy milk, like, you drinking milk taste. This don't, and it's like, but it's as smooth as ice cream. Like, this shit is really good. Now, we're gonna see how I end up later on. See how I mess with my stomach. But I'm gonna try her down this. It's almost gone. It's so far. This is so far. Like, I'm super excited. Damn. Super excited for like what I got in store. What what I got coming up, like what? It's not even what I got coming up. It's just the the future in general. Like that shit, it be it be bogging me down. Yeah, nonetheless. But at the same time, I I'm learning to allow myself to get excited about the things that I'm doing now in the moment that I got my hands on. And that I got control over. Like, like I'm ex legitly excited for some of the stuff that, you know, I'm going to be blessed with and that I'm going to be able to bless other people with. I really do like blessing other people. I really. I 
I really do love seeing other people smile. Um, seeing people get excited, you know what I'm saying? I really do enjoy that shit. And like, yeah. But I know I gotta, I gotta get myself to a certain point, certain level, even though I still give at the level that I'm on. But I'm just, I'm excited to, to be able to do more. To do more with the blessings, you know what I'm saying, that are to come, dude. And really my, like where I get a kick out of is being able to create. Like being able to express myself, being able to get my rocks out, being able to, you know, just being able to use my hands, being able to use my body, being able to do certain things that I never thought, you know, possible. And that, that's where I get, I get my rocks off. And like, I'm excited, bro. I'm so excited. That was so good. That was so good. And like, one thing I'm learning for sure is gratitude gratitude and a good attitude you know what i'm saying in the moments where things aren't necessarily going as quickly or as smoothly as you would like them to but as long as you're moving like like you know what i'm saying like a lot of people get mad at people that got like cars that can only go a few miles an hour because they may have something going on with their engine or something like that. But shit, me, if I'm behind that wheel, bro, because I done been in situations like this with my cars, bro. I done been in situations where like, man, oh my God, Lord, please just don't let this mug cut off. Please don't let this mug cut off. Just let me get, just let me get to my destination, Lord. Please, please, please being the person behind that wheel going two miles an hour you're just grateful that that but people may be blowing their horn telling you to get your ass out the road or whatever but man you just like oh thank you and then when you make it to your destination you're like oh thank you lord jesus but also in them times when you're going two miles an hour you're more focused on the road and a lot of times you you don't even get to look at the, the stuff that's around you. And that's so crazy. When you going fast, you're trying to look at everything around you. And you, you get like glimpses of it, right? But when you're going slow, you're so focused and in tune on where you're going. Yeah, you're going slow, but you focus going forward. And you still miss out a little bit on the stuff around you. You know what I'm saying? Cause you in tune here. Like, man, like I gotta I gotta get here. Hey yo, I see ya. So it's like being able to relax in those moments and just be like, yeah. Yep, I'm going two miles an hour. Yep, but I'm still moving. So getting excited and allowing myself to be excited about about that. I'm still moving, man. I'm still here. I'm still blessed. I'm grateful. Man, no matter the weather, no matter the struggle, that's what I'm trying to learn is to stay in that mat or as close to that mindset because you can't, like, I ain't gonna say you can't, but it's hard because we human, man. It's hard to stay right on that line, but as long as you stay close to it, it's easier to get back onto it instead of being far off and now you gotta go back through the woods to figure out where that path is but that's my little rant or whatever that ice cream was bomb oatly y'all need to go try that i got the fudge brownie one i actually want to try the other ones they had strawberry vanilla i don't do mint chip and they had chocolate i ain't i'm not like the fudge was enough they had strawberry and vanilla and coffee i don't do coffee no coffee and no mint cho chocolate chip cleanse my palate but peace out